and by the signs you shall know him, and you shall know I am sent by him. What signs, Hebrew? Son of Ra, shine forever. Yes, Imhotep, what say you? The Hebrew agitators, we were discussing magnificence. They are here, seeking audience. Hebrews? Here? How dare they expose their lowly presence to the holy eyes of our Pharaoh? I am told by Imhotep the one called Moses claims to be a messenger of God. Then their tongue should be cut out for speaking such heresy. Perhaps, my lord vizier, but this Moses might afford us some diversion on such an uncommonly stifling day. Grant them entry. Great Pharaoh, the Lord God says unto you, let my people go. You are a brazen fellow for a Hebrew, Moses. What makes you dare say such a thing to Pharaoh? I am a messenger of God, and he commands you. Commands? Your God commands Pharaoh? <laughs> the slave God must be very powerful, eh? Who is this God, Moses? What does he look like? A tower of mud, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> And just where is this God? Look to the sky, Pharaoh, and you will see his face in the blaze of the sun, in the changing moon, and the thousand eyes of the night that watch by darkness. His voice echoes in rolling thunder, splitting the heavens with great fingers of lightning. The Lord God is everywhere, in everything. Cannot be pictured like the bestial idols of Egypt. I don't like them, Father. I don't like them very much either, my son. But what should I do with them, my little prince? Should I uh, cut off their tongues, perhaps, for blasphemy of the gods? Yes, then tie stones on them and throw them in the river to the crocodiles. <laughs> my son, the pride of my life and the future of Egypt. Even so young, his words thunder like a true king's. Do you not tremble before us now? I have heard the voice of God, Pharaoh. I tremble only before him, as you shall. And by the signs you shall know him, and you shall know I am sent by him. What signs, Hebrew? My own magicians are capable of such illusions. Do not scoff, Pharaoh, or turn away. If you heed not the signs, you will bring down the wrath of God upon Egypt and upon your own head. You begin to annoy me, Hebrew. Let my people go, Pharaoh. Hearken to his words while you still have time. The Hebrew slaves build my cities. If I were to free them, who would build the cities for my beloved son when he is Pharaoh? Do not harden your heart, Pharaoh, lest you destroy your own house. Enough. We are no longer amused, begone, Hebrew. Uh, uh, since you can work wonders in the name of your God, here is one for you to try. Henceforth, the tally of bricks to be made each day by the Hebrew slaves is doubled. They shall make twice as many bricks as before. But 
Straw will no longer be given to them. But, mighty Pharaoh, how can the people make bricks without straw? To make twice as many bricks as before and without straw should be a small wonder indeed, compared to changing a stick into a snake. 